Hello, this is John Kenalopoulos from our office here in Athens, Greece. We're going to talk about a favorite subject here, and it is no different than Kirukonos. This is um, our uh, young uh, uh, friend who is uh, 30 years old. We saw him in uh, August of 2020. Uh, these are his two eyes today, pristine, very clear. His vision today is 2020 from the right eye, and with a minus two, he's 2020 for, with a left eye as well. The curious thing about this young gentleman is that uh, we made for the first time the diagnosis of keratoconus. He was, uh, this is a 2070 minus uncorrected in his right eye with best corrected 2030 minus. And he was a 2100 minus in his right eye with best corrected uh, uh, 2030. And his refraction at the time was minus two and a half minus 0.75, minus 0.75 at 75 degrees. And it's interesting to go and look at his uh, topographies at the time. Uh, and uh, we will, of course, see here our um, epithelial map showing that there's epithelial remodeling uh, hiding some of his keratoconus. And on Pentacam maps, he clearly has uh, truncation of the astigmatism, um, the uh, clear evident signs of uh, the oblique thickness transitions and um, um, sharp shallowing of the cornea here with thinnest at 499 and this is the left eye and uh, the images are similar to the right eye uh, seen here again truncation of the astigmatism oblique temporally uh, and uh, thinnest of 489 so our treatment plan on him was to do the Athens protocol and we performed uh, a um, minus uh, three, uh, minus 0.75 at 10 degrees in his right eye, and minus 0.75, minus 125 at 70 degrees in the left eye. Uh, this was the actual treatment we performed. And uh, six milliwatts uh, per centimeter square for 50 minutes, uh, that was the actual treatment. Um, these are again the numbers um, that we treated, although his refraction was minus three, minus 0.75, we treated minus two and a half, minus two and a half at 10 degrees, um, and then uh, minus 0.75, minus one and a half at 161 degrees. See the discrepancy here, here bef between refraction and topographic data. In order to achieve uh, uh, correction, we always treat the uh, topographic data. And uh, this is our patient here today. And uh, we're seeing here the tremendous improvement in the, the uh, keratoconus in the right eye, preoperative and today, and the difference map that uh, basically uh, documents the uh, tremendous aid that uh, the Athens protocol can give. We have a correction of uh, about five diopters of this uh, irregular astigmatism and his ability to see 2020 now uncorrected and his cornea being uh, stable which is probably the most important thing, and probably the most important thing. On the topometric indices, his IHD has gone from uh, 051 to 059, but with tremendous improvement of the uh, cone, he went from stage one to two to stage one, uh, and his ISV from 50 to 43. Uh, and then uh, if we look at the uh, left eye, we can see also the dramatic improvement of the cone there, difference map, two and a half diopters. The surprise here though, is though his refraction was a very mild hyperopic refraction, he ended up with a normalization being a minus two. This is a, a lesson that we uh, have learned a long time ago. We want to always communicate with patients and colleagues. The fact that in this multifocal cornea, the patient refracts as a plus 075 with mild astigmatism because he obviously chooses an area that has a sweet spot for him. Once we normalize the cornea, then we can really measure the real myopia in the eye. We can see that the average K has definitely flattened uh, over two diopters. And it is not for us uh, an oxymoron, the fact that he went from a plus to a minus two, although his cornea has flattened. And you need to be prepared for this surprise uh, in post um, Athens protocol patients. So our plan here and now for the left eye is that if it's stable over the next year, minimum cornea thickness is 476, we can definitely go in and do a PRK here and um, uh, get rid of the residual myopia that we're actually measuring correctly now and bring him to a metropia in both eyes. But again, the name of the game here is not uh, necessarily achieving a metropia, but stabilizing the keratoconus. Our advice to not rub the eyes 
on pristine corneas. Uh, the procedure was performed in August of 20. So we are now six months out. We'll see him in a year's time and make the decision if we're gonna do the residual myopia in the left eye. This was John Canalopoulos signing out. Uh, very pleased to be able to share with you some of our data with our Athens protocol, cross-thinking for um, progressing keratoconus in young adults.